Hey guys, Diana here from Garden Love. I actually decided to take a little stroll, a little walk for my lunch. Um, I had a lot on my mind, so I wanted to just take a walk and think. And I started thinking and wondering what you guys are passionate about. I have a lot of passions. One of them happens to be growing my own food, my own fruit trees, and doing everything I can to learn about it and improving my methods, growing as much as I can, showing you guys what I'm learning and hopefully inspire some of you guys to grow a little balcony garden, to grow a little garden uh, by your window because as you guys know my garden, it's not as big as most. It's actually quite small, but I am maximizing my space and growing as much as you can. So most of you guys who follow me on this channel, you guys probably know that about me already. You guys know how excited I get when I, there's a bloom. You guys know how excited I get when there's a fruit on my tree. How excited I get when Lily wants to try the fruit and she enjoys what we are growing. And some of you who follow me on Instagram know how much I absolutely love working out. And I'm also hoping that I can inspire other people to do whatever it is they like to do if it's just walking if it's going to the gym if it's running bike riding rollerblading whatever it is to stay healthy and active i love working out and i've loved it my whole life and i'm probably going to love it the rest of my life <laughs> um, i try not to make videos about that because this is a gardening channel but just a few weeks ago i did um i did a half a marathon with my husband to support the fallen officers in our community it was a fundraiser and we did half a mile and to be frank i was pretty impressed with my run i didn't run two weeks prior because uh time restrictions and things that were going on but when i got out there i hustled and i ran 13 miles under two hours i believe my time was one hour and 54 minutes i was the 19th in my category which was amazing i was like wow imagine what i could do if i could train for this so maybe next year i'll do it again and i'll place even higher on the list or lower on the list whichever you, way you decide to look at it um so i was very very excited about that i love running love exercising um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. I'm always posting on there. I post things about my garden. I post things about my working out and other things that I'm interested in. So if you want to get to know me a little bit more, go to my Instagram. But another thing that I'm passionate about is I love helping people. I love being part of solutions and helping people who can't help themselves or, you know, they're just in a bad position. I actually was in the career in a career path. I shouldn't say was because I'm still pursuing that career path um, to be part of the community and help those who can't help themselves. So that's part of the reason why I had a lot on my mind. Uh, there's a long story behind that. Um, two years ago, I was actually very close to achieving my goal. Unfortunately, a week or two before completing the program I needed to complete to be part of that community, something went wrong um, and it didn't work out. And that's my, I guess I was depressed and sad at the time. And that is what was able to start my YouTube. Well, that's the reason why i started my youtube channel because i needed to be productive in my life i needed to do something that i'm passionate about just as much as i am when it came to the career path that i was in or i am in um i needed to do something and that's why i started gardening i started gardening because i love to grow things as you guys know how much i love it and i wanted to find other people who could benefit from my journey and I wanted to find other people who love it as much as I do and that's why I started my channel I wanted to um, 
connect with you guys and I feel so blessed that I have been able to connect with so many of you guys and that you guys have been so supportive through this journey and part of the reason why I'm doing so well now is because I focus myself, I focus on something positive, productive and I keep working and not quitting on my, my goals and dreams and you guys were a part of that so I wanted to thank you guys for that um, I'm still in my journey of one of my other de desires and passions which is to be part of the community and help the community and um, I'm not quitting on my dream I know that if it's meant to happen it will happen and it will happen at the right time so throwing all the good vibes out there hoping they come right back and that it works out um, like I mentioned I'm still in the process of trying to work through the barriers that are between my goals and I so I want you guys to share with me what your desires are what your goals are and leave a comment down below because I really do hope that they come true but that you guys are also gonna be working through them and doing something to achieve them because every day I wake up thinking how can I better myself what can I do to get closer to my dream and I'm holding myself accountable and hopefully you guys do the same thank you guys for being here I don't know how long this video is um, thank you if you guys made it this far and I haven't bored you guys thank you so much for listening to me ramble like I always do about things that I'm passionate about and uh, like I said I had a lot on my mind and being near nature always helps all I could think about was my garden and since I couldn't drive there and come back on time from lunch I decided to come and take a walk and share it with you guys it's quite beautiful out here there's shade it's actually pretty hot today it's in the 90s which is amazing all I keep thinking is I gotta go home and water my plants because I haven't um, put a drip system which I need to do that Steve Liz if you're listening to this I need help you gotta teach me how to do all those drip systems and how to um, make everything functional but look at how beautiful this is did you guys see that guy riding his bike he waved and i waved it's so peaceful here oh i love this if i had my rollerblades i would have been rollerblading this whole way and now i wouldn't have been able to make that video but i would have totally been rollerblading i love rollerblading um <laughs> who else loves rollerblading <laughs> i love bike riding i love hiking i love running i love working out like i mentioned if you guys want to see me do any of the doing any of these sports go on my Instagram I share them all the time um, sometimes I feel like oh my god some of the some of my Instagram friends are gonna think that this is not a gardening Instagram is actually a fitness in, uh, Instagram but I just share everything I love doing you know there's days where I'm totally involved in fitness and there's days where I'm totally involved in the garden and there's days where I'm totally involved with my kids hi and um, I'm just doing something I just I love doing what I love doing and I just do it so that's where I'm at guys I feel like I'm talking too long too much I'm gonna let you guys go I'm gonna give you guys a little view of this pathway and I wasn't hungry when I got here so I decided to leave my lunch for after the walk because I had way too much on my mind I just wasn't hungry so I'm gonna head back to my car I feel a little better now and I'm going to eat my lunch. What are you guys having for lunch? I'm having salmon with spinach. Yum. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you guys have a blessed day. I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope this video wasn't boring. I hope that if anything, you guys can enjoy this beautiful view like I'm enjoying. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.